Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 16 in chapter 8. This chapter is about the conservation of energy. As we can see, there is a person. At the initial state, the velocity is zero, and the, the y1 is 2 meter. And so we can see he jumps, right? He jumps, reaches to the state 2. At state 2, the velocity we need to know, and the y2 is zero, because we consider this is as a reference point. So this is y2. Now, very likely, we can see there is a what's spring. We can consider it like this one, right? Spring constant is given. And we can see then this person just uh, do some move, move down on this spring, compress this spring. So in this case, how much spring is compressed is y3, agree? And then finally, it reaches to the final position. The velocity is zero. So this is the whole process. In this process, when we solve problems, we need to consider the energy is conserved. So first of all, we need to find V2. So that means from this the initial state to the state 2. In this case, is only the gravity do the work. Gravity is conservative force. So the mechanic energy is conserved. So if we can see initial kinetic energy plus initial potential energy equals the final uh, kinetic energy plus final potential energy. And then we can input the known quantities. We find V2 is square 2 G Y1. There we can see 2 is a constant. G is a constant. Y1 is given. So very easily you can find V2. Do you agree? Yes. And then ask you how far he just depressed on this spring. So we need to find the V3. Agree? So V3, how can we do that? We consider from the initial state to the, we, can, oh, we can consider it from initial state to the final state or from the V2 to the V3, which one you prefer. And there we select the state 2, state 2 to state 3. See, you can see at state 2, we have the kinetic energy and the potential energy, agree? At the final state, we have the kinetic energy uh, potential energy in two parts, gravity potential energy, mgy3, and also the elastic energy, one half, ky3 squared. Because in this process, the spring is compressed, so there is some energy converted to elastic energy. We must consider this part. And then we input the known quantities. Very easily, we can find the y3. Now we input the known quantities inside for first one, y2 is 7.7. .7 7 meter per second and then the y3 we can solve these equations like there and then get the final answer negative 0.28 thank you